to great heights, except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say so, but sadly it's true that bang-ups and hang-ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch, and your gang will fly on, you'll be left in a lurch. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump, and the chances are then that you'll be in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun, and slumping yourself is not easily done. A special thanks has to go out to all of the teachers who have helped us over the years and taught us the importance of learning. Our parents and teachers have prepared us for the future, and now it's our turn to lead. That's unspoken, just a token to take away. So much more. People say that life is hard, but I'll tell you this, life is a challenge. It's our responsibility to find ways to make it better. High school is not easy for anyone. We all have our, our personal story challenge. For instance, think about the students who are graduating today who, have, who are from countries affected by earthquakes, tsunamis, and civil war. Think about the students who are graduating today who have, who, have had lived, who have had to live in homeless shelters, foster homes, or without their families to support them. Believe me, there are more students who have faced hard times than we know. No matter what the situation is, many of us have learned that life can, be, can sometimes be unfair, unstable, and unpredictable. I came to Premium four years ago from Brazil and I spoke very little English. I would never have imagined that I would be giving a speech in English in front of thousands of people. Although I was excited at first to come to US. Thank you. Although I was excited to come to the US, I was soon overwhelmed by my new life. I miss my friends and, fa and, and my family. I felt lost and confused about my future. I lost interest in school. I became the student that teachers could have given up on a long time ago. Fortunately, my teachers and family did not give, did not give up on me. They never let me quit. I learned how to communicate fluently in English through the English as a second language department. I finished my senior year in the mainstream classes and I was teaching assistant, helping others to learn. I joined the Resilience for Life program where I learned that the only way to succeed is through self-discipline. 